So in Python, we have two functions that we'll, we'll have access to. So there's the user defined function, which might be what you've heard of before. This is a function where we're going to be able to give it a name. Um, this is, we'll, we'll name it, and really this is used when we have many, we have some sort of complexity. So we usually have many lines of code, it's not able to fit just in one line. And this is, and we'll be able to reuse this function later on. And this is, if you're familiar with Python at all, lots of the libraries that you used would have these functions available. We'll be using pandas functions available uh, to us in the pandas data frame. The other function is a, is a lambda function. And now this is usually a really simple function. It's usually like a one line function that you can fit into that little tiny space. Now, what it, it doesn't have a name, it's called an anonymous function, so there's no name to this. And the thing with this is we're not able to reuse this again. There's no way to say, hey, use this again, because it doesn't know. But it is still very quick and easy, and it is very handy in, in a lot of ways to be able to use this uh, very quick and easy. And it, often your coding will need something compact, and these are in situations that use a Lambda function. I'd recommend starting with user defined functions and let's practice with those. And once we get good at those, kind of expand to Lambda functions, which are though nothing more complex, they can be a little bit harder to think through because they're so compact. Okay.